Hey, so I wanted to talk about one of the most challenging exams in term one and probably um, the strangest. It, it's, it's very different than a lot of the other exams um, is the MSK exam. Uh, there's just a lot of straight memorization, which is crazy. If you're good at memorization, then you'll kick butt. If you're better at concepts, it might be a little harder, but you can still get through too. I want to talk about what kind of things you need to do to prepare for this giant exam that has a ton of weeks. <laughs> it's actually one of the longest exams that I took, uh, longest uh, um, amount of time that I need to study for one single exam. And that meant a lot of material. So first off, you have Gray's questions. Gray's, and, Gray's questions, Gray's anatomy questions, okay? Those questions are a lifesaver. That's probably one of the strongest ways you're going to beef up your score, is doing every single Gray's question you can do. I ran out of time. <laughs> I didn't realize how many questions there are, but doing Gray's, doing Gray's questions out of the little booklet that they give you, will be so helpful because it, you start seeing patterns, okay? There's a certain kind of question, there's a certain kind of prompt, and you start seeing a pattern in what the, the correct answer is, all right? Um, you start to get an idea of space and where things are located. So, Gray's questions, huge. Now, um, the labs are a really helpful way to visualize um, where these things are in relation to each other. I know we're online currently, so it's kind of challenging because you can't really see these structures. You're not in an anatomy lab, but it's really good to uh, incorporate the lab material. You know, I know you're gonna be tested on uh, lab cadaver stuff separately, but it's a nice way to get your brain to like think about space. <laughs> and relation of structures and veins and arteries and lymphatic tissue, okay? So that's really, that's really helpful. All right, now one of the things that I did that was probably the most helpful, okay, and this is, takes a little bit of time, but it's um, writing down every single muscle, its action, its innervation, um, its lymphatic drainage, its arterial, blood supply, um, I think I might have said a venous drainage, it, every single little bit, just organize it on one single um, piece of paper. It's overwhelming, it's a lot. Or on a whiteboard, specifically a whiteboard. I mean, I thought that was a better way to do it. I would do like all upper body on the whiteboard, okay? And then all lower body, every single muscle, every single action, every single innervation, <laughs> Lymphatic drainage, all that, you know, um, it's really good because uh, it, it's 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 a lot of information and it's nice to see it in one big shot so that you don't mix up pieces of information. So I'm going to show you uh, an example of one of these kind of scary uh, <laughs> scary um, whiteboard drawings. All right, so here's an example of. Um, <laughs> one of these horrible giant lists that I made for MSK. So this is just upper body. Um, I didn't add certain muscles because I may have known them. I may have known like them really well and I didn't add them in. But for the most part, this is the list of upper body stuff that I was struggling with. So you could see, um, okay, so I didn't include blood supply. That's on another page. I just had uh, action and um, innervation. So I broke it up into like upper back area, um, upper arm, uh, lower anterior arm. I just organized like this. And I just wanted to put everything on one big, just whiteboard. You know, if you don't have a whiteboard, then draw it. Write it out all on one big piece of paper. It's kind of nice to see everything in one shot because then you, you know how much information you need to memorize. Um, and then I would just practice, you know, racing, like just say this column, I'd race this whole left column and then I would try to rewrite it all from memory. And then once I was good with that, 
and I've, I've made another video on this, then I'd erase the next column and this one, and I'd see if I can rewrite all of it until I get to the point where I could rewrite this entire thing from memory. It is shocking. You're going to be so surprised at how quickly you can um, memorize all these pieces of information. And then if you wanted to make this long term, you would make uh, Anki cards of these sections. So I'd do like, I'd block out this section, okay, this one. Then I'd block out this section, okay, and then try to memorize these sections of the upper arm. All right, so that's, that's how I memorized all this stuff. Okay, everybody's favorite part in MSK, the brachial plexus. <laughs> so it was very important to be able to draw every single part. I, I think St. George pounds this. They pound this into you. They say, be able to draw the uh, brachial plexus. That is 100% true because you need to know, okay, if there's something going on, you know, something going wrong here or here, it's going to affect certain ones. The outcome is going to come differently downstream. So, or up here, if it's here, then things down here. And you can kind of see the flow. Um, which is really nice. And uh, again, I would try to knock these little pieces of out, little pieces of information, all of them, you know, one by one, I would just slowly progress through this so that I could draw this whole entire thing from memory. And I didn't say this in the last little bit, but uh, take a photo of this, you know, make it really nice. Use a lot of cool colors. Keep everything organized. See, I keep posterior blue, anterior red, lateral, you know, maybe keep this one green. I don't know. It's just a way for me to keep all these pieces of information organized. Make it really nice. Take a picture. And then try to redo it. Doesn't matter how well you do it or how nice it looks the second time. Just make sure that you get each uh, answer in. Okay, so here's the brachial plexus. You do need to know this. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Okay, so here is an example of the blood supply. So again, I have everything written out all in one shot. I have everything above um, the diaphragm. I drew this as just kind of uh, like a little border here. And then I have all the pelvic arteries. And I just tried to memorize this entire thing. And, you know, it seems overwhelming. I know a lot of students may think, okay, this is a lot of information. Um, but just put in the work. You're going to totally be able to do it. I know it's a lot, um, but if you write it out, you put in the work of just writing it out and then just keep rewriting, you'll see that it doesn't take very <laughs> many tries to memorize everything. It's incredible. The, the most work is just really just drawing all this out and knowing what you need to know. Okay? <laughs> so I hope this information is helpful. I hope you guys rock it on your MSK exam. All right. Got there and kick some booty.